Imagine the far future of human civilization. As our descendants have evolved into godlike beings, wielding the power of not just an entire star, but an entire galaxy. In 1964, a grand measure of civilizations was proposed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev. The Kardashev scale, a three-tiered system, it classifies civilizations based on their technological sophistication and energy consumption. What kind of civilizations did Kardashev imagine? Where do we currently reside on this scale? And more intriguingly, where are we headed? Consensus Network. Kardashev foresaw a type one civilization, perhaps only a millennium or so ahead of us technologically, exerting mastery over its home planet. They had the power to not just manipulate, but to control everything from the weather and volcanic activity to tectonic plate movements and their planet's orbit around their star. These titans capture every watt of energy their star generously bestows upon their planet, and they have complete terraforming capabilities. But this is only the beginning. A Type II civilization extends its reach beyond its home planet. They have colonized every planet in the solar system, and they harness the entire energy output of its host star. Dyson Spheres, a megastructure which was proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in the 1960s, encapsulate their stars, seizing all its energy. These civilizations are interstellar engineers, capable of extracting energy, data, and raw materials from multiple star systems. They influence the universe on a star cluster scale, mastering the art of stellar engineering, interstellar travel, and terraforming distant planets. At the height of the Kardashev scale are the Type III civilizations. Whereas Type I civilizations are planetary and Type II civilizations are stellar, the godlike entities of Type III civilizations are galactic. They traverse the vast expanse of the galactic space lanes, control black holes, and play with quasars. Their capabilities from intergalactic travel via wormholes to intergalactic communication via subspace stretch far beyond the bounds of our wildest imagination. Carl Sagan, the renowned astronomer and author, dared to expand Kardashev's scale, envisioning the existence of Type 4, 5, and 6 civilizations. To imagine these extraordinary entities, picture this. A Type 4 civilization wields the power of not just a single galaxy, but an entire supercluster of galaxies. Controlling all planets, stars, and dark matter within. They harness this unimaginable power to manipulate the very fabric of space-time itself. Venturing even further, a Type 5 civilization exerts control over the entire universe. They might even possess the extraordinary capability to leave their birth universe, venturing out to explore the expansive frontiers of the multiverse. 
Finally, Type 6 civilizations, the true gods of the cosmos, have the power to create and manipulate the fundamental laws of infinitely coexisting multiverses. Their existence transcends time and space, life and death, and the physical realm, surpassing what we think of as reality. They stand as the true gods of all existence. Our civilization still has a considerable journey ahead to reach even the status of a type 1 civilization. But we're gradually advancing. The foundation of every civilization rests on two fundamental technologies, energy control and communication. A civilization's progression in social, economic and technological aspects is largely fueled by the advancement of its communication tools. Consider a world, our world, devoid of communication technologies, where there are no roads, ships, airplanes, postal systems, or internet. And it becomes abundantly clear that these elements are the pillars upon which our civilization is built. Roads, ships, and airplanes play an essential role in transporting goods, services, and people, while the internet and postal systems are indispensable for information exchange. And now to the point you've been waiting for. Bitcoin, our most recent advancement in communication technologies, enables the seamless transfer of value on a global scale in cyberspace, eliminating the need for intermediaries. This is an unprecedented milestone in human history. Our current placement on the Kardashev scale is modest, perhaps even underwhelming. We remain a type zero civilization, barely scratching the surface with a score of 0 0.6. The ascent to a type 1 status, despite appearing to be a small leap of just 0 0.1 points, is deceptively monumental. Given the logarithmic nature of the Kardashev scale, this transition to a type 1 status demands a staggering 10,000-fold amplification of our existing power consumption. Despite the enormity of this challenge, humanity is already taking its first step towards becoming a Type 1 civilization as we have begun to introduce Type 1 technologies into our world. For example, the birth of the Internet, a Type 1 communication technology, revolutionized global communication and information exchange. This marked the beginning of our ascent up the Kardashev scale our first significant strides towards becoming a Type 1 planetary civilization. Shortly after the Internet's emergence, our world witnessed the advent of Bitcoin, another transformative communication technology. Bitcoin, a Type 1 monetary technology, ushers in a new era of unrestricted global value exchange. Why is money important? Money is the lifeblood of civilization. It enables the coordination of resources, orchestrates the global workforce, and fosters cooperation across continents and generations. With Bitcoin, these processes are elevated to a planetary scale, a characteristic of a Type 1 civilization. Bitcoin is planetary money. It's Kardashev Type 1 money. Zoom out and try to see how important this is for the future trajectory of humankind. Our civilization and species are evolving. The transformation of humanity into a Type 6 civilization becoming the true gods of the cosmos might appear fantastical. Yet, many physicists and cosmologists believe that humanity could reach Type 1 status within a century. 
achieve type 2 in a few millennia and ascend to type 3 in a few hundred thousand years. In the grand theater of cosmic time, this is but a blink of an eye. And if we achieve type 3 status in just a few hundred thousand years, that is, in less time than we have been around to roam the Earth as Homo sapiens, who knows what lies beyond? Our destiny is not grounded in the dust of our agrarian past, but is instead found among the stars. For the long-term survival of our species, we must spread beyond our birth planet, seeding human settlements across the galaxy. Only by harnessing energy on an unimaginable scale and ascending the Kardashev scale can we secure our place in the cosmos and ensure our survival. And Bitcoin is an essential technology on our continued journey to the stars. Thank you for staying with us all the way to the end. Your support means a lot to us. Comment below with the word 100% to let us know that you watched the whole video. And don't stop here. There's more to explore. Click the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Click on it now to go deeper down the rabbit hole of Bitcoin.